this is RB the Garden Nanny. I am at my clients and I have to do something that I said I did not want to do, but I have to do it because this week my bulbs are coming from Color Blend and I need to be able to put in my bulbs for the fall so they can come up in the spring. Well, my summer plants are still beautiful and I just have to take them up. I hate to do it. They would go on probably until, they, they may even go on with the snow on top, <laughs> but I cannot wait that long. I got a schedule and unfortunately I got to do it now. The weather's starting to get really cold and like I say the bulbs are coming this week. So look at what I'm looking at. Okay, this is it. This is it, guys. It all has to go today. So, I will be pulling them all up and preparing for the bulbs to come this week. Sad as it may be, looks like somebody stepped on my mom, but it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, sad as it may be, it has to be done. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, I know this is pretty tough to watch. And I know that based on our uh, conversations we had on Facebook, um, there were so many people questioning why they would want them um, ripped up when they're so pretty. And I get that. And you really don't have to if you're not planting bulbs. You can leave them in there and let them stay until they die and then come back in the spring and then clean it up. But when you are planting bulbs, you have to plant them in the fall. And um, no matter how pretty it is, this is just a plant that will bloom for you and anybody in the right conditions. If you give it, I've been fertilizing it for, uh, I came once a week during the summer and I fertilized it. And I think that helped, I know that helped a great deal. And it just, this is by the way, Supertunia Vista Bubblegum. Um, but yeah, you, if this combination, you like it, I'm in zone 6B. 
you can do the exact same thing and have this beautiful plant all the way. And I don't know if I mentioned, but this is October 24th. So, <laughs> you know, I had somebody say, you still have petunias in the ground? What kind of plant is that? Well, it's Supertunia Vista Bubblegum by Proven Winners. They have a magnificent petunia and this is it and it comes in a variety of colors and it's still looking good regardless of the date they don't care about it being october 24th <laughs> so anyway i must get back to work i just wanted to interject that hmm, well, as you can see i removed all the petunias the moms the vinca the sedum the only thing that's left is the elephant ears and as you can see it's pouring rain so i'm not going to continue but at least i gotta jump on it and on this side as well and in the middle portion right up in there all of that is gone and by the mailbox and by that wall and that's all that's all done for today so i will be back on another day hopefully when it's not raining like this and finish what's um left now what's left is for me to take out the elephant ears and then on the other side and down on the children's wing i will remove that stuff as well so i'll bring you back with me i am primarily doing these videos because I want other gardeners to know that, especially women, gardening is a beautiful thing. Yes, there are lots of things that you could say, oh, I don't want to do that because the weather is so unpredictable. That's, that's life when you are a gardener. But gardening, you're dealing with dirt, you're dealing with all kinds of weather patterns. And it can be beautiful one minute, and then the next minute it's just... And it is like in the 40s. So when the rain hits, it feels like you're an icicle. <laughs> but um, I just want, I don't want to say the negative because there are so many positives. My clients absolutely love what I do for them. And I love what I do for them. And it just brings joy. If you've ever received a bouquet of flowers, if you've ever looked out of your window and saw beautiful plants, just it just makes your day. It's just a beautiful thing. And I love helping someone who wants this type of work, but they can't do it themselves. And they are willing to pay someone like myself to do it. And you can make some pretty good money doing this work, but it takes someone who is consistent, who is not afraid of the rain every now and then. Of course, I don't work in pouring, pouring rain, and I don't work in thunder and light. It's just not, you know, safety is first. Good help is hard to find for a lot of people, and they are willing to pay for it because they find that you know, people are here today and they are gone tomorrow. They do not want to be consistent in, in this type of uh, industry. So I just want to encourage people who are looking at my videos to know that this is a good, good type of position to be in. Beautifying one landscape at a time. And it just builds upon itself because once you start doing a good job, people stop you and ask for your card, ask for you, ask to you, can you do this, can you do that, blah, blah, blah. And then you get more uh, clients that way and then you get more clients from word of mouth based on the work that you do. So yes, I do this YouTube channel to look back 
on the things that I've done. It's a good visual instead of just writing it down in a journal. And then not only that, it's just something that may be able to help someone else. And that's what I want to do. Help someone else that may be thinking, wow, I would love to do that. Is there any money in it? Um, how do you go about doing it? Well, that's another, if you're interested in knowing how to do something like this, how to get clients and all that, let me know if you're interested. I don't want to um, put all that information on here and no one's interested in that. So let me know in the comments below if that's something that you're interested in and I will be happy to tell you how to go about doing this. It's something that females, males can do. I have even seen kids that have their own lawn service. So my industry is more so beautifying with plants, trees, pulling weeds, um, making things beautiful. So thanks for watching guys. Keep watching, subscribe, hit that little bell so that you won't miss any of my videos because I am doing this for you. I am also doing this for me, but I love doing it. garden friends. Um, I am at my clients and I am getting ready to get rid of these plants which are coleus and they are very beautiful but like I mentioned this is the other side of the building. Um, it is fall. It is two days before November and they are still looking very beautiful but I need to uh, for this client they want uh, bulbs to come up in the spring so the only way to do that is to plant them in the fall so unfortunately I just wanted to have this for my records and to show you guys that how beautiful coleus can be this was planted in the summer and like I say it will stay until you take it out I'm in zone 6b so here it is, and I will show you when it's finished. I had to put down my shovel and get a picture of this before I rip it out. This is a coleus. There's a tree behind it. There's a ornamental grass behind it. And look in front, it looks like a huge bush. This is coleus, guys. I mean, coleus. <laughs> It's not a bush, but it looks like a bush. This would be a great plant for something you're trying to cover up over the summer. Uh, of course, it's not going to come back, but it's just a great annual plant. I mean, it's just gorgeous. So I will say keep this one in mind for next year. Okay, I am done for the day and as boring as it looks, it will be beautiful in the spring. So all of the coleus are gone and there was some over in this area, they're gone as well. Let's take you down on this side. I had them all filled in here. So this is going to be filled with tulips. We still have our tree and our ornamental grass. So that's going to be the winter interest. And let's see. They are gone from this area. So that is it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.